Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download the latest Windows 10 ISO file for free. You will find lots of websites out there offering you direct download links to Windows 10 ISO file. Some of these sites might be genuine, but more often than not, you might either end up with an ISO file that has somewhat been manipulated, either by incorporating an app to it or making some modifications that will serve the interest of the distributor. In some other cases, these ISO files might not be the latest one released by Microsoft. So the method I'll be showing you in this tutorial not only ensures that you have a fully genuine Windows 10 ISO file, but also that you have the very latest one offered by Microsoft at whatever time you're watching this video. And just to mention, you don't need a USB stick for this process, you only need a good internet connection in order to make the process as fast as possible. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. So open your browser and search download windows 10 disk image click on the first link from microsoft.com you can check on this url below to ensure it's from microsoft i will also leave a direct download link down in the video description now clicking on this link should take you to a page like this on this page click on where it says download the tool now and that should download the microsoft media creation tool it's about 20 megabytes in size so it should download pretty quickly After downloading, simply run by double clicking, hit yes on the user account control and wait for the file to load. Here accept the license terms. And after some time you should have this window asking what you want to do. Here the default option is to upgrade this PC now, but you want to select create installation media for another PC. This includes USB flash drive, DVD, and of course ISO file. So select that and hit next. On the next page, it asks you to select the language, architecture, and edition of Windows 10 you wish to have. By default, I have English US as the language, Windows 10 edition, and then 64-bit architecture as the recommended options. If this is okay for you, then just hit next to continue the process. But if you wish to change any of these parameters, then first uncheck this box that says use recommended options for this PC. Now only then will you be able to change the default settings. Then select the settings that match the specs of the PC where you intend to use the ISO file for installation. On the architecture, there are three options, 32-bit, 64-bit and both. If you already know the architecture of the PC you will be installing your Windows 10 on, then you can select it here. But if you don't or if you have multiple PCs you wish to install Windows 10 on with 32-bit and 64-bit, then your best bet is to select the both option. This will of course require more storage space on your drive and a bit more time to create but then you won't need to create multiple installation media for different architectures since this single ISO file would have both 32-bit and 64-bit architectures on it. With that selected, hit next. On this next page, it asks you to choose which media you want to use to store your Windows installation files. Here you want to select ISO file and then hit next. It then asks you to choose the location to save your ISO file. I will keep mine on the desktop. You can rename the ISO file if you like. I will just leave mine as the default which is windows.iso and hit save. Now as soon as you do that, the media creation tool will start to download the Windows installation files. And then afterwards, it will automatically begin to create the ISO file. From here, you only need to wait for the entire process to complete. You can keep working on your PC the whole time. Just ensure you remain connected to the internet to ensure that the process is not interrupted. The time it takes to complete this process depends on a number of factors, most importantly, your internet speed. With good internet connection, you can have this done within 15 to 25 minutes. Now your PC specs also play a role when creating the ISO file, that's after downloading. So with good processor and RAM, you could save some time on this process. In any case, I will fast forward this part of the video and let's see what the end result looks like. So now we are done, you should have this message saying bend the ISO file to a DVD and below that you will see the link to the location where the ISO file was saved. Now since I'm not bending to a DVD here, I will just hit finish. And now when I go to my desktop, I have this Windows 10 ISO file which I can either bend to a DVD 
right to a USB stick or use for a virtual machine or whatever I want to use it for. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.